Hey guys, TJ here. Uh, today I want to speak to you a little bit about why most punters lose. One of the biggest reasons a punter lose is they expect too much or too little effort. I have a lot of criticism about people telling me, oh, but it's not worth betting on this horse because it pays too little. Uh, well, sometimes they just do win. One reason is they are greedy. They want to win a large amount of money for putting in very little effort. They don't want to study, uh, but expect that when they put in a tenner, they will get back hundreds of thousands of rands. And unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Sometimes you have to put in a hundred dollars or rands to win a couple of tenors. Another reason is they don't want to learn. Uh, they just expect that everything falls into their lap. Uh, with horse racing and as with any other sport, you have to know the basics of the sport. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time and your money. The next big reason why people lose is they bet on everything. Uh, a swinger, trifecta, quartet, wins, places, sometimes three or four horses per race. Uh, it doesn't work like that. You have to decide what to play, when to play it, and stick to your decision. Not just play because it's there to play. Sometimes you get these bettors and gamblers that bets on every type of sport there is, uh, not knowing the rules or the regulations and that will also just lose your money. You have to be an expert in your particular field to be able to win some money. The next reason why people lose their money is information overload. I've had guys contacting me and telling me, hey, this horse is going to win in that race. Another guy comes and tells me the same, and another guy comes and tells me the same. Uh, it doesn't work like that. Uh, this information normally comes from an unreliable place, and uh, it's just a sure way of losing your money. And lastly, one of the big reasons why people are losing their money is YouTube channels. Nowadays, every tipster out there has got a YouTube channel and they are always telling you this horse will win and that horse will win. Uh, let me tell you that I've been on a couple of channels and uh, these guys are just promoting their own product and not worrying about what is going to win where. So be careful, uh, decide early what you want to play, stick to your decisions and play your own selections. Do not be swayed uh, by other people and other opinions. Uh, if you like a horse or a team, uh, be confident enough to back it instead of just leaning out your ears to everybody and lose your money every week. These are my first videos that I'm making on YouTube and uh, I'm sure that as time goes on I will get better so keep on following me for more tips uh, as I am planning to do a whole series on how to identify false favourites uh, and help you make some money on the horses.